doing? Today we're reacting to November's new music. I can't believe the month has already passed, but here we are. And yeah, it's all <laughs> very central basically. Here we are, we're gonna listen to some new music and I'm very excited about them all. Some of like my favorite artists release new songs. So it's gonna be a fun time. But before we get into the songs that came out this month by my favorite artists, I also have to talk about five albums <laughs> whoa i didn't register that there was this many but yeah a lot of albums came out this past month so i did separate videos on all of them which will be linked down below as well as should show pop up on i above i released the reaction to under the tree by ali brooke the show the encore by niall horan samson and marie tree by samson and marie food cake by serena carpenter and the three bigotries cost album that came out this month and yeah, those are the five albums that I already did full videos on. Go check them out. Then we have not that many songs to react to for this month, but still very excited for them all. First, you have Can't Catch Me Now from The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Olivia Rodrigo, Houdini by Dua Lipa, Stand by Duff Cameron, Mira Plechte by Pomaline Dice, My Love by Rian featuring Iowa Star and Jai Wheel, You're Losing Me from The Vault by Taylor Swift. That's it. I said that like there was something else coming, there isn't. And yeah, let's just get into the reacting. Okay, so I have three songs to listen to today together with you. So let's get started with Can't Catch Me Now by Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> like it i feel like it's a very different vibe from olivia but so good oh god that was such a beautiful powerful song and i don't know anything about hunger games i really don't i wasn't a hunger games girly back in the day i should get on that though so i don't know how well this fits the team of the book slash movie but damn wow that was chef's kiss love that so much next up we have first single of dual lupa's torped album possibly houdini <laughs> not my favorite Dua Lipa track but I did really like it I did vibe along to it I'm not obsessed with it but again I liked it and I'm very excited to see where the rest of the era is gonna lead us talking about exciting things Love Cameron is coming out with her debut album December 1st and we got our last single before the album's released and that's Sand <laughs> Okay, so that was sand. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, yes, this is what I needed before going into the album because it's such, such, such a beautiful, heartbreaking ballad, and I love the metaphors within the lyrics, and it just so good. Oh my god, and I can't wait for a chemical El chemical to come out. Okay, so I have been procrastinating filming this for a while for no reason. I've been beating myself up all day for procrastinating. But now I'm glad I did because Taylor Swift released You're Losing Me from the vault because she made it to be like Spotify's like top global artist and it was a thank you to the fans. So now I have one more song to react to today. I, did, I wasn't expecting anything to be released before the end of November. So yeah, we're doing that. We have three songs to listen to still. So You're Losing Me is coming last. We're starting off with Mere Plichtig by Bommelin Days. <laughs> banger oh my god <laughs> I did. it went much harder and like a bit more walk not not walk but like pop walk really than i was expecting and i just oh it's yes it was so epic and so grand and so ooh, i just 
yeah then next we have my love featuring ira star and jay wheel by leanne <laughs> a bit of a lazy remix i mean it just is a new verse by Jawila at the start and then it's just the same song just all your stars verse taken out but like she's still on the track it's it's an all-out remix i feel like it's very lazily done and i'm not a big fan of it we're wrapping things up with you're losing me from the vogue by taylor swift and i don't know why i'm excited because what the people who have heard this say is absolutely devastating i have not listened to it yet i know there are ways to listen to it <laughs> without having the version of midnight that it's on physically but i have not done that because you know if you i have been curious but if you're gonna tell me it's gonna emotionally wreck me like I'm, you know i didn't mind not having it. <laughs> but we're doing it now and i'm excited but i'm also very scared so let's go Okay, so before giving you my thoughts on this song, can I just say that it's been a year since Midnight came out, even more now at this point, and we finally got the entire album on streaming, I think. I don't think we're missing anything anymore. <laughs> that took such a long time, and now can we please have at least a 3am edition on vinyl? <laughs> please, can we have like one physical edition <laughs> that has everything we needed? Anyway, you're losing me. I really like, I don't think it as devastating as other people have made it seem like it's a very sad song. It deals with like in the middle of a breakup, you know it's over, but like it's not technically over yet, you know? And you know, it's a devastating theme to be dealing with, but I feel like it is not as devastating of a song as I've seen other people make it out to be, which like to be valid, when this originally came out on like those physical, on the... I don't remember what edition it was of Midnight, but the only like physical version of it. It was a very different time in a Taylor fandom as it is now. So that might also have contributed to it, the fact that so many people think this is so devastating. That's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these songs if you listen to them, as well as some of your favorite songs that came out in the month of November. And hopefully I'll see you right next time. <laughs> Shoot a plane, cool,